Jenna Bosiger, and you're watching Cryptic Cryptids. On this episode, I want to continue on with my salt and sea explorations to a place called Rainbow Rock Quarry. And I want to talk about the significance of this place with prehistoric humans. And I'm not talking hundreds of years old, I'm talking thousands of years old. I want to get into Wonderstone, which is what was mostly being mined from this location. And then I want to get into Tufa and Travertine, because Tufa can be used to date things. And there's Tufa and Travertine all over this area. So let's get into it. Okay, here we are at the northwest end of the Salton Sea. Now before we get into that, I want to show you this little blue area right here is Lake Kauia. And Lake Kauia used to occupy all this area between Lake Kauia and the Salton Sea. There was likely marshlands and there was salt water, there was fresh water and there was probably some water coming in from the ocean as well in currents. And back in the prehistoric days, there was a lot, there were a lot of people here fishing and living in this basin region. The ancient peoples used to make fish traps out of stones and obviously there was some kind of a current and when the current would come in, it would fill up with water and the fish would get trapped in the stone circles or line areas that they made and they could keep the fish and eat them. This is how they did their fishing. Right up from Rainbow Rock Quarry, if you'll remember, I did an episode about this place right here. This place is called Travertine Point. I also showed you how there was this stone wall that is built right into the rocks and goes like right into the mountain. Travertine um, is very similar to Tufa. And I, th I think of Travertine as um, the lines that you see where the shoreline was and the rocks were underneath the water. I also heard that Travertine is formed over maybe thousands of years. I also saw this, which reminded me of a show I used to watch called SG-1. And they would go into the base, you know, looks like that. One of the features of Tufa and Travertine is that it makes caves and this whole area is covered with lots and lots of massive caves. And some of these places, you know, they're not easy to get to. But they are a lot of caves in this area. And then right here, we have the Rainbow Rock Quarry. Next to Rainbow Rock Quarry, this is called Wonderstone Wash. And Wonderstone Wash is very big. It actually extends all the way to the shore where you can see is it in between here we got Wonderstone Wash and uh, this is a really beautiful area you can find bits of Wonderstone scattered around a little bit here but you do need to be careful because a lot of this is reservation land and there's, you know, you're not allowed to trespass. And a lot of it is owned by this stone company here. And they do not allow trespassers at all. You are allowed to go up Wonderstone Wash. But you are not allowed to go anywhere on the mine area. And there's even a sign there that says trespassers. Not only will they have a $1,000 fine, but a year in prison for trespassing a year. Look, this place is um, so fascinating to me and I want to go so bad, but that's not going to happen, but I can get close to it. But this place is just filled with caves and interesting things. And then I wanted to show you this one cave. 
at the back end of it. Okay, so here's the cave right here. And then if you zoom in, you start looking at this area right here. You see like, it looks like giant steps. Maybe from, I'm talking thousands of years ago. Thousands of years ago would have really worn it down a lot. But these look like they might have been steps or something leading into this cave that unfortunately I'm never going to get into. But, oh, it'd be so fun to walk around here. Lake Kui and the Salton Basin had a continuous history, certainly no longer than twenty to 40,000 years. An archaeological site shows that a charcoal sample has a carbon date of 575 years BC and a and a bivalve shell found below the charcoal has a carbon date of 920 years BC. In Kuwia County Park, which is where these fish traps are, that they took some of the tufa and got a date of 5,000 to 1,300 years BC. And that at this site, there are tufa traps for fishing made by the ancient Indians. So basically, if I'm not mistaken, they are saying that these humans were making fish traps around 5,000 BC. That's not saying it's the oldest sign of human activity there. It's just saying that, that there was human activity there 7,000 years ago. And the Truck Haven Man burial was recovered from below a rock cairn at the site. And there are lots of rock cairns all over the site. It was originally thought to represent an early man find and that the burial was radiocarbon dated at approximately 5,000 years before present. The results were never published. And, you know, that was the end of that. The Smithsonian took the bones. I did read that somewhere, though. Rainbow Rock Quarry, the largest and most intensively used bedrock lithic procurement area in all of the Colorado desert. Next time, I'll show you some pieces of my Wonderstone. And we'll get into Wonderstone itself, which is also called Crypto Crystalline Silica, which is really amazing stuff. And we'll have to continue that next week. Hi, thanks for watching. You can hit the like and subscribe buttons and hear more.